know what, today seems like a good day to finally work on my crocheting skills. It's a good thing that Craig's not here, because it would be really awkward if he were. Hey, Hamilton! What the heck are you doing here? Well, I got injured on the job yesterday, so I decided to give myself some workers' comp while I recover. Workers' comp? But you're self-employed, how does that even make sense? You know my name, but not my story. And you don't even look hurt! The scars are on the inside, Hamilton. What, did somebody finally tell you to shut down your miserable business? Actually, they did. But you want to know something, Hamilton? Great men like Andrew Carnegie, Cornelius Vanderbilt, and Old Man 82 didn't listen to the haters when they were told to stop their dreams. I must follow in their footsteps to become a true napkin entrepreneur. Well, can I at least perform my embarrassing activities in peace while you recover from your terrible injuries? Well, this is my house, Hamilton. Well, this show is my idea, Craig, so why don't you get lost? Are you kidding me? This was my Jeez, calm down, dude. <sighs> Plus, I was the one in the opening scene of this episode, so I am clearly the more important character. You wouldn't even be in the opening scene if it weren't for me creating the show, Hamilton! Yo, well, my name comes first in the title, Craig. Best for last, buddy! What? You heard what I said, buddy! Well, you need to find something better to do with your time than yell about how much better I am than you. While you're playing your croquet! Crocheting. Crocheting? I'll be inside playing a real sport! What sport could you possibly play inside? I don't know, uh, uh aquatic conditioning? And where are you gonna do that? In the bathtub. Craig, in my 17 years of existence, I've never heard anything more stupid come out of a human mouth than that. Well, what do you want me to do? I want you to go away and get out of my life. Is that a sport? <sighs> well, you know what, Hamilton? I'm gonna find a sport to play, and it's gonna be a whole heck of a lot cooler than your croquet! Crocheting! Crocheting! Man! <laughs> I gotta find a sport! Cool sports to play! Inside of the home. Ah, oh, this looks interesting. Oh, oh no, no, no! This wasn't a part of the script! Ah. Oh. Hey. Hey, this looks like something I can do. Well, how's the sports going, buddy? Oh, hey there, Hamilton. How did your crocheting go? Uh, good, good. Rather not talk about it, but what are you even doing anyway? Education. I thought you were doing sports. Exactly, Hamilton. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Please tell me you're not one of those kids who thinks that education is a sport. But it is, Hamilton. Oh my goodness. It's like marching band, Hamilton. It's just very misunderstood. Marching band is not a sport, Craig. <laughs> yes, it is. Will you get out of my house, Ignacio? No. Craig, education is not a sport. Yes, it is. It's not physical at all, Craig. Man, it's like you're becoming one of those really unathletic kids trying to make something that isn't a sport a sport just to make them feel better about themselves and the really unathletic bodies. A sport is defined as a competitive thing that requires physical exertion, Hamilton. Maybe if you actually played education, you would know that, Hamilton. Craig, if I went by that logic, anything could become a sport. There's not even any physical exertion. Oh, there's physical exertion, all right. Craig, you're really trying to tick me off, okay? So who do you think you're trying to be? I'm an athlete, Hamilton. You're not an athlete, Craig. The only thing you are is a few more sentences away from me going over there and whooping your ass. Astronomical physics is my favorite sport, Hamilton. Will you please just leave already, Ignacio? But I wanted to 
just know if you would sign my parent par parental permission slip for bird watching. I am not your parent, Ignacio. Did you just assume you rule my family? Yeah, I did. And you better start assuming how hurt you're gonna be when I go over there and. Man, this episode's becoming really weird. Anyway, let's get back to the matter at hand. Education is not a sport, Craig. But education is a sport, you know. Craig, education is not a sport. Now that I think about it, I don't think there's even a single sport that starts with the letter E. Well, what if sports such as baseball or basketball just had a silent E in front of them? You know what else has a silent E in front of it? I mean, when I go over there and... Does somebody need a hug, Hamilton? Ignacio, why don't you just get run over by a truck? Education is a sport, Hamilton. You want to know what a sport is, Craig? A normal, fun, physical activity or game that actually requires athletic skill and movement. Education requires no activity, and you can't just slap on the adjective sporty to any old thing in the world. You want to know what a sport is, Craig? It's a normal game like baseball, or football, or soccer, or crocheting. You can't just go by the literal definition of something, Craig. You know what's a sport and what's not a sport. It's called implied meaning. Didn't you learn that in education? And like I said, I don't think there's even a single sport that starts with the letter E. Well guys, I have to get going. I'm an athlete after all. Are you gonna sit there then? Yeah. Well, can I at least perform my. <sighs> well. <laughs> John, go away. John. John, will you stop laughing when I'm actually saying the lines? <laughs> no! <laughs> we got the silent laughing on camera for once. Alright, go. But I wanna know if you would sign my parental. I've done a couple of those in my day. <laughs> okay. I skipped a line. Does it really matter? Nah. Nah. That's fine.